a speeding bullet. More powerful than a locomotive. Able to leap tall buildings at a single bound. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. Hey guys, I'm Gonzalez 70 back with another Superman statue review for you. Today we're going to take a look at the DC Universe Online Superman statue from DC Direct, released in 2010. It's a very sought after piece in the collector market, and um, usually pretty pricey, but I got a great deal on it. And uh, it was mint in box, never opened, never displayed, so really happy to have it. And looking forward to showing it to you. So let's start with the box real quick. You can see this DC Universe Online. Um, now, I have to admit that I'm not a big gamer, so I haven't really played this game before. So I can't really tell you how accurate the sculpt is to the actual game character, but um, it's a really nice sculpt. You can see here that this is based on the art of Jim Lee. It's hand-painted cold cast porcelain. Nice shot of the statue on the side of the box. It's a very colorful box. It's got a lot going on on it. Um, big write-up about the game and the character itself there. You can pause and take a look if you're interested. Got a lot of uh, art on the back here. You see some statues that were uh, released after this one. Nice shot of the statue again here. So here he is. A couple things that I really like about this statue. Number one, he's in an action pose, which is not something that we get all the time with Superman statues. For whatever reason... You know, because he, you know, because of the character itself, I don't know why, but a lot of sculptors and a lot of uh, design teams tend to place Superman in a stoic museum type pose. But that's not the case here. So anytime I can get a statue with Superman in an action stance, it's definitely appreciated. And not that there's anything wrong with a museum or a stoic pose, but when you got one statue of Superman, that's fine. But when you got, you know, 20, 30 statues and they're all in a stoic museum pose, it gets to be a little boring after a while, so you, you really do appreciate the accent pose pieces. And this is a great, great pose. You can see he's either about to take off or about to kick some ass. Love the way the cape flares out to one side there. Again, another cape in motion, which is always one of my favorite things. So here's a closer look at him. This is an awesome face sculpt. This is another thing that I really love about the statue is the face sculpt. It's really nice. It looks a lot like Jim Lee's art. Um, and it's, he's got a very stern look on his face. He's uh, definitely a beefy, beefy Superman. He's got some nice muscularity going on, a huge chest. The only thing I don't like, that I would have to say is a distraction, is the seams on his shoulder, shoulders there. It's too bad that they had to do that. Um, and it's not a huge deal. It's just kind of a minor gripe, but I wish it didn't have to have those seams there. You see the S-shield is, is raised quite a bit. It's almost like a quarter inch off his chest, which is cool. Paint job is really clean, really nice. I like the darker blue. It really makes the red pop. Um, for whatever reason, too, the, the S shield and the boots and the trunks have a shiny sheen to them, whereas the cape is a matte finish. And the hair is also shiny, which is to be expected. But really nice sculpt, though, overall. You can see here the cape. The cape is a nice sculpt, but only problem, doesn't have an S on the back. I don't know if that's the case with the game itself. Maybe you guys who've played it can tell me, but... Always prefer the S shield on the back of the cape. Other than that, again, a minor gripe. Nice, simple base. You see DC Universe Online nicely printed out there on the base. Again, you see the shiny boots there. But just an overall really clean, clean sculpt. So overall, a really awesome statue. Highlights for me on this one would be the pose, the face sculpt, and the cape. Of course, I love the cape in motion, as usual. But... Um, you know, a highly sought after piece in the collector market, and I can definitely see why. So here he is in the collection on a temporary spot right now. He won't be staying here. This spot is going to be taken by the uh, Shane Davis Metallic Man of Steel statue. The next one to come out in the line, he'll be joining his Metallic Man of Steel brothers over here on this shelf. But until then, I think he looks pretty good here. So thanks for checking this one out, guys. I really appreciate it. Again, this was a review of the DC Universe Online Superman statue from DC Direct, uh, put out in 2010. Please uh, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this guy. And um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate you watching. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Fight's a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and